This is a standard Geiger counter that measures the alpha, beta, and gamma rays with its transducer. Right now I have it on the lowest scale, which is times 0.1. And as you can tell that there is some activity going on, uh, very low level activity, which is what I want. I did not want it to be extremely active but I believe what it's measuring at this particular point is some gamma rays. What you're looking at right now is the test setup that I have with the wires running into it which is a DC voltage of approximately 10 volts and roughly 0.25 amps and the current seems to be determined by the voltage that I am running this at and I wanted it at low voltage because if I run it a lot higher there is evaporation of the deuterium that causes that water level to go down to an unsatisfactory level and I don't have a recovery system yet the wires that you see are platinum and palladium and this is the standard fusion cell that is described in Fleshman and Pons although the deuterium has had special treatment to it that's undisclosed uh, and will remain undisclosed it appears that the treatment of the deuterium is what causes the reaction to uh, take place every time The object to the right, as you can see here, happens to be the radiation detection cell so that I could tell exactly what's going on with the output of the, uh, the reaction cell. The reading that you may or may not be able to see on the infrared thermometer is 78.8, .8, which happens to be the room temperature. The temperature that you would be seeing now is 98.4, and that is the temperature of the reactive cell or the difference between the temperature in the room and the temperature in the cell happens to be uh, roughly 20 degrees Fahrenheit so that the water is picked up 20 degrees uh, differential heating because of the reaction what you're seeing now happens to be the power supply that runs over to the reaction cell you can see underneath it is a constant temperature device for a water bath that keeps it at a constant temperature so we can tell what the gain of the cell is here I have turned the voltage up to 20 watts and uh, what I want to show you on the power supply is this is a non-linear type of reaction if you notice as I pan over to the power supply here and to the voltage and to the current well the voltage is 20 volts which is on top the current on the bottom is now 
0.86, which happens to be a very nonlinear function. If it was linear at 20 volts, it should have been about a half volt, but this is jumping up, and you will notice that it keeps raising. Ten seconds later, it's now risen to 109.5, so it's rising rapidly. Here it is here, and as you can see, it's a very nonlinear reaction. And let me see if I can get you back to the fuel cell here so you can see what's occurring inside the fuel cell. The reading is also at this particular point 33 watts. So it has gone from 2.2 watts at 10 volts to 35 watts at 30 volts. Can I say positively that this is a low energy nuclear reaction? No. Obviously it's going to take much further study and it will have to be validated by a great number of scientists. At this current temperature, I'm not sure that you can read it. But it was 135 degrees. And if we pan over You'll be able to notice that I have set it back to 10 volts, and you notice that the current is at 0.31 amps, or that the average is now 2.81, which I'm hoping will decay back to uh, roughly of the 2.2 amps that it was at before. It's a possibility that it'll stay at this higher current um, could not decay back, but uh, time will tell.